You know, years ago, the most popular way to exchange data would typically be either a CSV or fixed width. Um, and then XML started gaining popularity. Well, today it's JSON. And so being able to convert from a table to JSON and JSON to a table is a tool that should be in every SQL developer's toolbox. And that's what we're going to be covering today. All right, so now JSON. So first things first, let's take a look at the JSON we're gonna be working with, okay? So I have a simple JSON file here, okay? It's just a customer's JSON file. So you can see we have customers, okay? And then a list of a couple customers here, okay? So we have cust ID, age, typical things you might find. So this is what we're gonna be working with, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to turn this JSON into a table or a tabular format okay that's the first thing we're going to do now notice a couple things we have some nested values here okay so within our key values we have nested values here okay this demographics okay so i'll show you how to deal with that and then i'll also show you how to take a table and turn it into json okay so those are the two main things that we're going to be going over today so let's get started all right so now all I've done here is I've taken our JSON that we've already reviewed and I've just thrown it into a variable here, okay? So we're gonna use that as the basis of our query, okay? But now let me explain how this is gonna work, okay? Now our array is gonna be turned into our table. Our objects are gonna be turned into our rows and our key values are going to be our cells, okay? In our table that gets created. So now let's see how we can query this JSON. So we're gonna start out with, of course, select, no surprise there, and we're gonna select star. We're gonna select everything from our JSON, okay? From, and now to query the JSON, we're going to use the open JSON function, okay? And then the first parameter is gonna be your JSON. So we'll pass in our JSON variable that contains all of our JSON. And our second parameter is going to be our starting value, okay? So what do we want to query, right? What array do we want to query? We want to query our customers. Oops. Okay. So we want to query our array of customer objects, right? Okay. Now the next thing we do is we want to type with open parentheses and this is where we're going to define our schema and map it to our JSON. So this is where we define our SQL schema. So we'll type our, we'll define our first field which is ID and that'll be an int. Okay, now these values don't have to match the column names for JSON, okay, but we're going to map them to them. So for example, our first column we're gonna map is cust ID, okay? We're gonna map that into our ID SQL ID, okay? So to do that, we just do space, open quotes, or single ticks, and then this is where we type the path to our JSON field. So dollar sign, customer dot cust ID. All right, so you use these dot operators to define the path to your JSON. So now we can do this come down here and let's say we want name too. We can do the same thing with name and we'll call that a var car. And again, that maps to so dollar sign. So our starting our root, right, or our context, okay. Customer.name, okay. Now, let's go back to our JSON, and let's say we want to get a value from our demographics um, key here, right? Now, these are nested values, so let me show you how we access them, okay? It's pretty simple. So let's define our schema over here, our, our, our um, household income field, right? We'll suppose that's the value we want to get. So we'll call this HHI, and again, we'll just bar car 50. Now to map that, again, we'll do customer.demographics, 
dot household income. Okay. Now let's go ahead and run this. And there you have it. Now you see we've queried our JSON and we've put it into table or tabular format. Okay. But now the other thing I want to show you here, let's go back and look at our JSON. Now you'll notice that our first customer does not have a date of birth field defined. However, our second customer does. Now JSON is very forgiving when it comes to missing fields. So let's go ahead and add this and see what this looks like. So now let's add that and we'll add DOB and that is a date and that and our path is customer.dob. Oh, missing a comma here. Okay, now let's run this. And as you can see, it ran just fine. And our date of birth is null because it didn't exist for our first customer, but it still runs fine and just gives us a null value. Okay, so it's very forgiving with missing fields. Okay, as you, as you know, if you work with JSON. But now what if we wanted this field to be mandatory, right? What if we wanted to strictly enforce that this field um, is populated in order for this to run? Okay, what we can do is we can preface our date of birth with strict. Okay, and now let's run this. And you'll see it gives us a, a message and says property cannot be found on the specified JSON path. All right, so sticking with that same JSON example, customers, let's suppose we just want to query a specific customer and a specific value within our JSON. How do we do that? Well, we use another function called the JSON value function. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So we'll type select JSON value parentheses we'll enter our json right so we'll use our enter our json parameter and now we'll enter the path to our json so now our starting point would be our if we're looking at our json let's look at it too right so we want to navigate to customers let's say we want customer two okay and we want i don't know maybe the name of customer two okay so let's take a look at how we do that. So we want to start at customers. And now we open brackets here and we enter the index of the customer we want. So that would be, it's starting with the zero with index so that we want our second customer. So our first customer would be index zero. Our second customer will be index one. So we want the second customer dot customer. Remember we're navigating down the down the JSON tree now, dot name. And now let's run this. And there we have it. We've selected our customer name from a specific customer in our JSON using the JSON value function. All right, so we've successfully queried JSON. We've queried specific um, values in JSON. But now what if we want to turn a table into JSON, OK? So we've went from JSON to a table. Now we want to do the reverse. We want to go from a table to JSON. Okay. So looking at the example here, we have a demo customers table. That's the same uh, data we've been working with before. It's just the same customer data, ID, name, age, all that. Uh, but now we want to turn this table into JSON. Okay. So let's take a look at how we do this. So we'll modify our query here to do this. Okay. So now. In order to do this, we're going to use for JSON. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So the cool thing about this is that we actually use the column names or aliases to define our JSON structure. So let's suppose we want to select the ID, the name, uh, and then maybe we want to do like some sort of custom field for our JSON. Okay, so with, with logic. So let's do that. So now we're going to create the same structure we've been working with, okay? So there'll be our array will be our customers array and then within that each customer object, okay? So let's do this. So we'll type first we'll work on our ID. So we'll type select ID as Now this is pretty cool. This is where you define the JSON tree, okay? So we'll do customer dot cust ID. Okay, so we will use the same uh, name that we've been using in our JSON. Okay, so we'll change the ID name from ID to cust ID. Okay, and then this is the JSON path. 
within customer it's called cust id is the is the key okay so now we'll do the same thing with our name so we'll type name as and again customer dot name okay now let's do something a little different let's say we want to create a field or a flag that tells us if this customer is our target customer or not, right? If they're in our target demographic, okay? And we'll use age to do this. So let's type a case statement. So we'll type case when, and we'll just say when their age is less than 50, that's our target um, group of customers, okay? Or our target demographic. So when age less than 50, then, and we'll just have a yes, no flag. Then yes, else, no. And, and we'll type as. Now let's say we want to nest this value, okay? Let's say we want to nest this just like we had in our customer JSON. We want to nest this value within our demographics, okay? So let's do that. We'll type customer dot demographics dot target okay now since we're creating nested values let's go ahead and add another value to this so we'll just add age to this so age as and again customer dot demographics dot age okay so now this is where we add our four json path Okay, and then comma, and this is where what we need to add our root node, okay? Or the root of our tree. Okay, and this will be customers. Okay, so now we'll run this, and there we have it. Now we have our JSON. And we can double click that to open it. And now we've transformed our table into JSON. All right, now the last thing I wanna show you quickly is the way to determine if your JSON is valid or not. So let's go ahead and copy this JSON and we'll declare a new variable here, JSON. And we'll just declare this as a var car. Okay, and then let's set it equal to our new JSON that we just created. And now in order to do this, you just need to use the isJSON function. So we'll just type select is JSON and we'll throw our JSON variable in there. And let's just run this. And then we get one, one meaning it is valid, true. Okay, now let's throw something in here to invalidate it and we should see a zero. And we do, zero. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.